R. Kelly. Bobby Kelly, my good, my old roommate, is playing Magoobies. But the other R. Kelly, the singer, right? I'm trying to think of one of his fucking songs. I used to know him. I used to know his songs. Then they took the, the videos away from MTV. Like the last one I saw that he made was the one where he was sitting down and he had half his head braided while someone was braiding his, the other part of his fucking head. You know? And God knows what happened to that poor woman, judging by that fucking debacle of an interview. Oh, it's just me. It's my life. I'm out here fighting for my fucking life, man. Like, he is, he is fucked. That's all I got out of that. I did not get, uh, I am an innocent man accused of some shit that I didn't do. What I, the vibe from that is I am fucked. Um, they got me this time. God damn it. Um, yeah. You know, you know what's fucking hilarious when that guy was standing up screaming and yelling and that woman just sat there, right? How that became the opportunity for other douchebags on the internet to try and bring up some male female point, you know, to literally try to wedge their fucking goddamn agenda. We're literally talking about a guy who if they're saying what he did. If, if he did what they're saying, what he did, this guy is a fucking monster. This is about getting this fucking guy off of the goddamn street before he can do this to somebody else. But these selfish fucking assholes on the Internet. Nah, nah, nah. We're going to wait. Notice when he screams and, and that reporter, she just sat there so stoically, so defiantly, so brave. That's, that's what they teach you. They teach you that in journalism class. What do you think? A guy would have stood up and fought him? So then all these women pile on and they start telling these stories of sitting quietly as their boyfriend punched the wall right next to their head. These selfish fucking assholes took this moment in time. A a, a pedophile, an alleged pedophile freaking the fuck out and all those victims, fuck all of them. It's about you and whatever fucking went down during your fucking relationship and how you were a total fucking victim. You know what? I got one thing to say to you guys, ladies. All right? We'll, we'll fucking get to you on this one. This is about the women who actually were fucking a victim of this guy. Stop trying to fucking, you know... You know what it's like? It's like back in the day, whenever I see stuff about hair metal bands in the, in the 80s on the Sunset Strip, and you'd go up and you'd staple your fucking banner your little flyer up to a telephone pole and then two seconds later somebody else would staple theirs over yours that's what the fuck is going on it even happens on shit like this it's so goddamn shameless you know and ladies you got to ask yourself something all right if more than one time a man in your life punches a hole in a wall right near your head at any point is there any sort of self-reflection where you're like why do i keep picking this guy Or what exactly is it that I'm saying to the opposite sex that is causing this behavior? (laughs) Speaking from experience, you know, I remember when I got to my mid thirties and I was like, dude, chicks are fucking, they're all fucking psychos, you know? And by then I was just like, wait a minute, but what are you doing? What are you doing? You know? And I actually turned around and I looked at myself and I said, oh, this is what I'm doing, you know? And then I, I, I decided to stop, you know? Fishing in the same area, pulling out the same goddamn fish. Right? I blamed the victim in all of that. So all you women out there who, you know, shaking the plaster out of your hair, you know. <laughs> be once in a while, you know. Every once in a while, it might be you. I'm just saying. Like, just say one out of three million times when someone punches a wall near your head. Maybe you shouldn't bring up things about his family or whatever the fuck it is that you said. Um, those other times, you know, the guys are aggressive and they shouldn't do that. And, um, you know, maybe there wouldn't be so many Home Depots out there if there weren't so many guys with misdirected anger punching holes right next to their girlfriend's heads. Uh, R. Kelly, could you uh, just shut up for a second with your pedophilia? This woman here has some plaster in her hair and she would like to... Uh, Tell her story while this is going down, if you don't mind. Um, all right. 